So there's only, you know, three most important kind of visualization. One is, uh, as I mentioned already, such as the, the lift child porch down method, the essence is energy expand and gather, expand and gather. So anything help you to focus your mind in this kind of pattern of energy, movement energy. So you can start in from the center, such as Dantian, the energy ball expand to the universe and gathering to the Dantian. And that is the most powerful visualization. You can use any part of the heart, any place it is comfortable, the heart, for example, or shoulder, or any injury, any discomfort. From that place, you visualize in the ball of energy, expanding out to the universe, gathering to nourish this part of the body. So that's why the La Chi is so important. So when you mind still training yourself, you train your mind to concentrate, to visualize often very difficult. Then you using the movement, very gentle movement, La Chi to support this concentration. And that is the most important visualization. And the second kind of visualization, yeah, is this oneness in this ocean of energy. We visualize uh, pretty much in every practice, right? Ocean of energy beneath you, ocean of energy above you, ocean of energy in front of you, behind you, left side of you, right side of you, deep inside of you. That's the second most important visualization. Actually, that's the first one we usually do first. And the third kind of visualization is visualizing a healthy condition, ideal condition, a happy condition inside of your body, wherever yeah, you want to give love, give healing. Using whatever images representing health, representing happiness, representing beauty for you. Position this image yeah, inside of your body. That's it. Three examples, like you using the most beautiful image, an atomic image of this part of the body not the kind of sick kind of image from the medical book. A beautiful, yeah. So that is uh, directly you're visualizing this body part as pure, as healthy, as transparent, yeah, as happy. And second kind of image is using a symbol. It can be a flower representing yeah, beauty, happiness, all that, yeah, for you. You can use a baby. Especially, even more powerful, think of the baby of yourself. So these are three different kind of visualization. Don't make it too complicated. Yeah. Most importantly is simple, better. 
So when you're repeating the practice of visualization, you're developing yeah, this capacity of concentration. This concentration is very much related to consistency. If you say, oh, visualize this way, that way, but what about this, what about this? You're changing the image all the time. There's no consistency. There's no concentration. There's no power to it. In a way, yeah, if not more, equally powerful than doing the movement, than doing whatever active practice. Of course, if you combine the visualization with the movement, with sound, so on, then even more powerful. And so many practitioners recover from very disabled body injury, even paralyzed, cannot physically do these practice. They're starting watching the practice. And all days they're using TV, yeah. now using a computer, yeah. Watching the practice. more powerful when you're able to visualize. Because this sweet energy visualization I share with you is the very purpose of all the practice we're doing. Period. So it directly just focus on the purpose. You still worry about, you know, how much movement I can do, how perfect my sound is. So that's why visualization practice often considered as an advanced stage of training. <laughs> it's called mind practice. So with a deep understanding, as I've been explained, you know, over, over again, so you can really connecting with what are you doing, including visualization more purposefully, more effectively, more skillfully.